Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in the last episode, we essentially completed this shrine, found another memory, and uh, all that good stuff. And in this episode, we'll be going right there to that tower. That's what we're gonna try to do. Map the region, explore a bit more, and uh, go in this sector eventually. Because we want, essentially, to go to this Divine Beast. That's our ultimate goal in the next upcoming episodes, so we want to do that, and that is a weird pillar. I really want to go there, but, um, okay, oh boy, there's some guardians down there, some flying guardian thingies. Uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go down here. And I missed completely, but, and, you know, let's just ignore that. Fly over here and, uh, yeah, I haven't played Breath of the Wild in a very long time. I don't know why. I feel like I have recorded since vacation. I say vacation as if it's like a new, but I'm talking about June. Um, but yeah, I think I have recorded since. But not in a very long time. Anyways, uh, you can see that there's a path sort of going up there. Uh, probably lots of monsters too, but let's still make our way up there and glide towards that location. Uh, we don't have that much stamina. Keep on forgetting about that, and we have quite a bit of spirit orbs in stock, and I can see that there's some weird, mysterious goop on that mountain, and uh, that's uh, sorta of scary to think about, but we'll have to deal with that. And yeah. Okay, here we are. We're coming in for a landing. Nicely done. Oh, what is that? No. Oh my god, we we could have found something new. So mad at myself now. Oh my god, there's enemies right there. Oh no, they spotted me. Even if I had my stealth armor. Right. We don't have lots of stamina. I can't just do this. Forgot about that. Well, please don't shoot me. I don't know if they, um... Can actually, it's sort of weird, I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, but that it seems like they never actually aim for you as, l well, properly that is, as long as you're not actually looking at them. Does that make sense? Maybe that makes sense. Okay, it's pretty windy up here, man. Oh, look at that, more goop, and uh, another enemy camp. Is that just a chest? That's just a chest. That's, uh, it's pretty tempting right there. I bet that's sort of the whole point, though, but, uh, let's still go for it. What is it? Bomb arrows. Okay. And what's down here? More arrows. Wow. Arrows in the ground. Is it raining? Nope. Okay. As long as it's not raining. And some goop. Uh, what can I do about that? We can go here. I actually completely don't remember this tower. Um, man. Okay. Let's, uh, we probably have to go here. Tabanta Tower. Tabantha? Oh, whoops, forgot about that. Not used to this save file. Man, feel bad. There we go. And now... We gotta find a way. Let's, uh, not... Not bomb arrows, please. I'm actually surprised that the wind seemingly didn't do anything. Oh my god, that is so genius. Is there... Yeah, there's a shrine over there. I mean, I would... Actually, yeah. I was gonna not map it, because it's, like, in Rito Village. Let's be honest, but, uh, but, you know, and then I was, because it gives us an indication of where it is, and it's actually in this section, which I thought it was in the other section of the map, so that's good to know, and, uh, good to know that we have a shot at actually going there in this episode. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Um, maybe even just from this tower would be enough. And so, oh no, 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 no! Forgot about our bad stamina. 
Also, haven't climbed towers in forever, and also, oh my god, remember last episode where they said there was a fairy's fountain and there was $500 given to me? Uh, yeah, well, that's the place. So, we want to go there too. Uh, probably what we'll, we'll do is get unlock the tower and then go there, and I'm surprised we don't have any more warm clothing. But, that's pretty cool. Okay, can we make it? Yeah, we can make it. There we go! Map that tower like a pro. And, uh, there we go. Said that already, but whatever. Sheikah Tower activated. Always fun to look at that. See the land. Make some good stuff. Feels good to be playing Breath of the Wild again. <laughs> Haven't played in a little while, but it's always fun. And we can see the shrine in the background. And there we go! We've mapped the place and all that good stuff, and now... We're gonna head to the fairy's fountain and go back up to this tower after. By the way, here's a pretty nice view of the Divine Beast. Um, but, okay, where is the place? I Like, uh, there's this whole puzzle about the shadow of the tower at a certain time. But realistically, when it's at night, you can see it better because it's just orange. So you're like, oh, it's a shrine. And then you're like, wait, no, it's not a shrine. It's a fancy, fancy place. Uh, yeah, let's get some of these stones. What do we have equipped? No. Oh, but the boulder breakers... Which one's the actual one from Daruk? I don't know, and I don't want to actually waste the one from Daruk. Because I don't know if you get multiple or not, but... Um, I just... It's a cool weapon. It's like Champion's weapon. If you guys ever saw the Breath of the Wild DLC Pack 1 stream that I did, uh, you can see, uh, like in my house in that uh, profile, I got all these, um, all these cool weapons from the champions on display. Yeah, we got a fairy. Always good to use the stealth armor for these so you can collect a bunch. You don't even run away when you do footsteps. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I scared that one off. Okay, so we still got quite a bit of fairies. That's, that's pretty good. And let's examine this place. Boy. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Keza. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 500 rupees. Well, that's a lot. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 500 rupees. Here you go! Okay, there we go. Thank you, you are too kind. And then we'll have unlocked another fairy's fountain. I believe there's four of them. There might be more, but I think there's four, so... I don't know how many we actually unlocked so far. And here is the great fairy, Keza. Out of her spring. Great fairies are always pretty weird in Zelda. I guess it's just kind of part of it now. To be weird. Hmm. So you're the one who brought me back from the brink. Oh my, I see now that my first impression of you was correct. 
you most definitely are pleasant to look at. How would you like to live here with me, hmm? Um... Yeah, I think I'll pass. Ah, I'm kidding, of course. But you certainly are cute when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, boy. But that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will enhance your clothes. So why don't you let me take a peek at that little pouch of yours? Uh? With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Yeah, okay, let's enhance. And what can we actually enhance? Yeah, we can enhance all these, pretty much. Uh, all of them, really. Hmm. So let's do that. Hmm. Okay, okay, got it. Now then, close your eyes. Okay then. Oh, Link's just blushing big time. And so we got the Helion Hood level uh... 2. That's pretty good. Need a bit of armor around here, don't we? Okay. Enhance away. Let's uh... just enhance all of these. Uh... And I guess I'll just kind of be back when it's done. I mean, it won't take forever, but whatever. Uh... So there we go. We got all the stuff that we could. Upgrade, upgraded. All that good stuff. Uh, maybe I should have actually listened to that, but it was probably pretty generic. Anyways, that's one more thing done. Yeah, it's uh, updated the thing. If you made an offering to the Great Fairy fulfilling your promise to Torin, report back. Okay, so we don't need to take a picture or anything. I was sort of wondering about that. And now we can go back to the tower and then maybe fly all the way to Rito Village? I don't know how far that'll take us, but who knows. Okay, and we're back at Tabantha Tower, and we're freezing. Uh, I should get that upgraded if it's possible. I don't think you can, actually. I don't think we'll be able to, like, make it all the way there. Oh god, I could have done better. But, uh, we'll be able to go somewhere around here. So that's good. And, uh... Wait, didn't we already, like, unlock this part? Maybe we didn't. Who knows? I'll just check on my map once I land. Which will be like any time now. Come on. There was something in the water down there. Probably just a raft, but whenever there's a raft, there can be some cool stuff too. Okay, look at that. Cool stuff. Um, but did we actually like... Huh. Okay, so yeah, this is the stable where we were at there. Cool. Cool indeed. Okay, so let's go there. Um, that seems like the place to go. It seems like there's a bridge. Oh, and there's a, a camp. I keep on wanting to say Bokoblin camps, but honestly it really doesn't apply once you're off of the Great Plateau. And we're getting closer to that shrine and Rito Village, so that's promising. And a Helian Shroom, surprising that this is what we get around here. A hearty truffle, that's more like it. Uh, what can we do? Let's uh, jump off this cliff and oh, there's a passageway down there. And some nice water with uh, the moon shining off of it. Oh my god, did I just hear some octo rock? Oh my god, run! Holy moly. Calm down, people. This is a more dangerous forest than it seems. And, oh my god, we're at Rito Village. Not Rito Village, Rito Stables. I'm dumb. Uh, but, yeah, we get some wood. It seems like there's a lot of wood around here. And, what else? What else? What else? Oh my god. Uh, he has a quest for us. Let's talk to him. We don't have anything better to do. Lester says the knights sure are, the knights sure are cold around here. Spicy. I need that burny tingle. I need curry rice. Now, I have Helian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. I just can't run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some Goron spice, can you give it to me? Sure thing. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Kindly, sunny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. Why is it called curry rice, but then it's not made with actual curry? 
That's weird. Oh, hey, look, it's Cass. We're gonna talk to him in a second. Just want to see if there's like a weapon hiding around or anything. Oh, look at that. Some wild berries. Okay, so that's new apparently. And uh, of course, this is a pretty forested area. But let's talk to Cass and see what he has to say. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you're all in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit, I'm feeling feeling incredibly homesick. Mm. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. What promise? <sighs> my promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. But listen to my blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Sure, let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, off grasped in the palm of a villainous hand. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, raises once again Ganon, the calamitous one. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song, to keep it true time, no matter how long. Now begins the second verse, listen, and you'll know of their battle with Ganon ten thousand years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help advert calamity by sealing it at its source. Four giant behemoths, for which power never ceased, each of these titans was called the Divine Beast and free-willed machines that hunted down their prey. These guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess and knight, their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it, the optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed by it. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and trashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The Divine Beasts unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on the Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometimes. Well, I definitely feel like we've already heard this one before, so I'm just sort of wondering if maybe the station casts at the stable nearest every Divine Beast to talk about this legend? 
I mean, that's possible, so, because it's, uh, supposed to be, uh, open world and you yeah. can go to which divine beast you want. Whoa, you made it all the way here! You're almost as crazy as Beetle! What are you looking for? Okay, well, I'm just wondering what you got. Uh, you got some arrows. How many do we have? 30 arrows? Yeah, we could buy more, right? We have quite a bit of money. That's all I need from you, Beetle. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Okay, well, thank you. The pleasure is mine. Well, uh, that's honestly pretty much all that there is to do. We may as well grab a horse, but I don't think we'll actually need one. But, you know, we may as well. Uh, Epina, of course. Okay. Let's grab Epina. Ah, there you go. Thanks for choosing the stables system something. Okay, here we go. On to our adventure to Rito Village we go. I mean, okay, actually, I want to see what this sign says and grab these wild berries. It says, Rito Village. Yep, that's Rito Village, all right. So excited to finally be here. Uh, a bit more of the journey is finally gonna take shape. Oh, wait, what do you have to say? Yeah. Good evening. Did you need something? Who are you? I am Jasane. Of the Rito, I don't know if I'm reading that correctly. Yes, the Rito of Lake Totori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Helian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Okay, well that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, let's see what this village has to offer. Oh my god. Let's uh, not go too fast. And yes, there is a shrine nearby, I noticed. Let's slow down. And... E no, Epina. I mean, sure. Uh, don't try to be smarter than me. Okay. Here we go. Let's just go on a leisure stroll with Epina. Much better. Okay. And last bridge. I don't know why I'm taking this. It's literally a puzzle to go around with Epina in villages. Up. Oh, I guess this is where it stops. Oh my god. And the cries of the divine beast can be heard from the faraway land. I don't know. Oh, cutscene. This is exciting. Yep. There we go. I don't know how we're gonna get to it though, but I sure can't wait to find out. Okay. So, we're finally here. Rito Village at last. Oh no, come on. I wanted those... Those lady... Those... Ladybugs? Yeah, ladybugs. Oh my god, I'm rusty at words. Hmm, are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not really a good time. What's going on? Did you see that beast in the sky? Of course I saw it from the Great Plateau, dude. That's a real touristic attraction, you know. That's the Divine Beast Va Meadow. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. They say it used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it's, it does not seem very divine to me. Thankfully, the thing only shouts at anything flying high up above the village. But still, it is pretty demoralizing for us Rito to have to fly so low up to the ground. Any other questions? No, I I'm good. I mean, we already know we're in Rito Village. Well, there's so much to explore. Honestly, I think we should just leave this exploration of Rito Village for the next episode. But I'm just so happy to be here, finally, in Rito Village. It's, 
it also, it's, I don't know. I don't know which, like, of the four main places, if I can say, is my favorite, but, uh, Burrito Village is certainly up there, and, uh, with its great soundtrack, too. But I'm just happy to be here to continue the story, but I think we're gonna keep that for next episode, figure out what's up with the main plot, and finally get a bit of story development. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. And, of course, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.